Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are having our Halloween special. Happy Halloween everybody. It's this goofy holiday we have here in the United States. That's just a lot of fun. It doesn't need a purpose. It's not, it's just a fun holiday. Applesauce. Yes. So in my neighborhood, they decided to have a little trick-or-treating early. You know, we want to hit Halloween on the weekend. So my boy, he's five. We go around, we trick-or-treat, and we found this in his bag. Um, I don't mind applesauce. I like applesauce, but do, do they really sweeten applesauce with Splenda? Really? It blew my mind. I was like, well, wow, okay. I'm tempted to try this. Just really? I don't know. To me, we always buy the unsweetened applesauce. I just thought it was funny. But it's funny that I'm concerned about like artificial sweeteners when like I'm just giving him buckets of this stuff, you know, for Halloween. It's like, you eat this. It's different for every kid. My child is in like the bottom 10% BMI. He's a skinny child, okay? So I don't mind. The doctor's like, you can load him up with some calories. It'll be okay. So trying to limit what he, you know, eats daily. But, you know, I don't mind some sugar. I don't know about this. To me, this just caught me off guard. I was like, Splenda, that's weird. That's like coffee or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do, what do you think of Halloween candy? Is Halloween just a crazy tradition we should do away with, or is it just fun? Do you care? Do you care what your child eats? I don't know. Either way, not that I've been sorting through his candy. Uh, yeah, all right, maybe I have. Welcome to the Halloween special. PokerChipForum.com, special thanks to them for sponsoring us and all my patrons on Patreon.com. They make this possible, so thank you so much to all of them. You can also visit my Amazon shop in the description below, and right now we're going to play a hand. Oh, looks like I'm the dealer. Look at this lovely dealer puck from Unique. Is it Unique Enterprises? Unique Incorporated? Something like that. I think it's Unique Enterprises. So dealer button right here. We're using some Marion Pro Poker 100% plastic playing cards. This is the blue deck. I'm playing with the red deck right here. All right, I think I got everything covered here. My name is John. Ho My name is John Hobby. This video is in filmed in UHD. Where available. Watch this in 4K. So if you have a deck at home, I assume you have a deck at home. Shuffle up and deal yourself a couple of cards. Siri thought I was talking to her, and I'm not. You couldn't find that in my music. Thank you, Siri. Wow, I guess I said something that triggered that. That was amazing. Um, I hope I didn't trigger your phones by talking to her. Sorry if I did. I apologize. Now, moving on. <laughs> so like so, deal yourself a hand like so. And this is my hand. And then we need a pot. What should we use? What kind of chip should we use? I just grabbed these. These happen to be convenient. Outlaw, metal slug, ABS chips right here, okay? So we'll burn a card. We're playing Texas Hold'em. We're not really playing for anything or these chips. This is just for show. We're on YouTube, so we're not really playing for anything. Six, queen, four. I have no commentary. We'll just keep moving on here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you guys all saw that. Let me know what you have in the comments below. That's pretty interesting, if you ask me. Not quite royal flesh material, but pretty interesting. Oh, dear. Bluff all over that one. I have lots of blockers on that. That's a great hand. Looking forward to seeing what people had. It's always interesting. So, it's Halloween, so I thought I would visit the CDC. And if you look carefully on the sixth floor, they have... <laughs> the sixth floor is the zombie ward at the CDC. If you work at the CDC, let me know what's on the sixth floor. I have no idea. <laughs> the zombies. Look at this. These are the no-brainer ceramic poker chips from BBO Poker Tables, something like that. The BBO website. I'll put a link in the description. I live in Atlanta, the home of the Walking Dead. We love zombies here. I love zombies. So to me, I think they <laughs> I think it was about time we got some sweet zombie chips in here. And these are pretty epic. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit without hurting anybody's eyes or giving anybody a seizure. So I'm looking at these chips, and these chips have a lovely matte finish. They don't have any like terrible dimples. Like I remember ceramic chips of old had like these big gnarly dimples that you could feel on the edges. These feel really clean. I mean, they stand on edge. These feel really like a premium ceramic poker chip and they're selling them at 
a pretty good deal at the making of this video, price is always, and availability always subject to change. You might get to their website, they might be completely sold out forever, so, you know, for what it's worth, but this is a fun Halloween set to discuss. So, looking at the, the lovely chips here, there are some denominations here. You can see there's a little, you know, dollar sign right here, not too visible. The five right here, and this lovely little child right here who just might be suffering from a little virus. The CDC will take care of him, you know, don't worry about him or her. Another lovely zombie right here. Look at how lovely these chips are with the very appropriate colors on the edges. And this is to me a very modern design. This isn't, they're not trying to line edge spots. Don't worry about that. It, don't have to worry about extra costs. So very modern here with the just solid ice cream sandwich zombie look right here. The more I look at these, the more I'm just like really impressed with how good they feel, considering again, the cost. Again, you can see the dimple right here. So it's visible, but not, you can't feel it really as far as texture goes. I can't, I can't even tell that's there. So the design, it's pretty, you know, face value. No pun intended. It's just a awesome biohazard, CDC, Walking Dead, zombie, Halloween, awesome poker chip set. Now, I like this, but it, it, there are people in my family who don't enjoy The Walking Dead. They don't enjoy the whole zombie thing. So I'm, you know, I personally wouldn't mind playing with these, like if, with my poker buddies, not a problem. But if I'm looking for like a family set, again, you know me, I'm going back to the mainstay Tiki Kings. Just a safe, fun, happy set to play with family. We don't have to listen to our great aunt go off forever about how inappropriate something is. It's like even the weird things like, you know, skulls. It's like, how dare you have a skull in front of children and you have a son? Listen, but out of our lives and mind your own business. All right, so I like them as far as the design goes. The materials seem fine. Um, when I compare them to like the Tiki Kings, it's really hard for me to detect much of a difference. The Tiki Kings have more of a rounded edge where these have, in, from what I'm feeling right here, it feels like there's a slightly more straight edge, which I actually prefer. And from the samples that I've bought, and I bought these with my own money, they were not sent to me, paid for them from BBO. And I'm very happy they shuffle, for me, they shuffle very easily. They're very comfortable in hand. They're very smooth, easy to recognize what you're holding. And some people, you know, again, this is something else that I noticed. Five is generally red, but you're just gonna have to get used to the blue if you adopt this set. So that might be a concern to some people. But for me, I actually really like that. After you see enough poker chips in your life, uh, it gets to a point where anything new is welcome within reason. So something to consider. See, that's why now you're educated. Now you can make your own decision. That's why I like making these videos. So things to consider the, the 10,000 right here, 500. I didn't, you know, with the sample set, I didn't get every single possible denomination, but enough where I can get a good feel for them. Um, I'm going to roll up a picture from the website with the link to, well, not that you won't be able to click on the video, but you'll see the source where I got the website from and go visit that site if you're interested in these poker chips. Again, I will put a link in the description below. So materials, um, they seem fine. They're very durable. I tried breaking these, can't break them in my hand. So they're like all the other ceramics, a hard plastic. Uh, the graphics are pretty good. The feel of the chips, fine. Materials, design, it's, you know, you, you buy a set called the No Brainer. It's a no brainer what you're getting, right? It's a zombie set. Um, what else do I have to say about this? Great Halloween set. Halloween's, <laughs> Halloween will come by, come and go pretty quickly next year. Look at their tables, check them out. So uh, I like them. If you like the design, get them. I can't, I can't think of a single reason. For the cost, for the, it, I mean, they're very affordable. So I would definitely look at some of the other sets they have. Do you guys want to do a sound test? 
I don't have much to say about it. I mean, when you find a good set, you're just like, it's a good set. It speaks for itself. Um, spinners look like, like lots of ceramics. They're not going to be spinner-less. But if that bothers you, let me know. Uh, let's see. I'm, I want to try this actually against another stack of ceramics. Here are some Tiki Kings. Let's get rid of this. What is that? An Elite. All right. Make sure we're pure Tiki Kings here. Do Tiki Kings have spinners? Not this set. I seem to remember some spinners. Was it in the Tiki King set? I don't remember. I'd have to go back and watch my own videos, which I'm not thrilled to death about. Um, uh, they sound like ceramics to me. All right, let's do a quick sound test, compare them to some other chips for your purchase decision. So you can, uh, if one of these hurts your ears, let me know. Uh, should we do some casino chips as well? Okay, so a quick look. Let's see. Am I representing a good selection of chips right here? A real casino, reverse hat and cane Paulson chip, modern Paulson production. We have the classic poker chip, Atlantic Club chips. Oh, Atlantic Club in, inlays and hot stamps. I'll just leave them in a stack. And some metal slug ABS chips right here. And our no brainer chips. Let's see how they sound compared to classic poker chips. Uh, Paulson Elite. Cleveland Horseshoe Casino Chips. Obsolete Casino Chips. They're no, it's no longer the Horseshoe. And some Outlaw ABS Chips. There you have it. A lovely end of the world apocalypse poker chip set. Be sure to visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. I'm on there all the time. You can send me a personal message. My screen name is Hobby Philic. Don't hesitate to stop by and write me a private message and say hi. And you can also comment on all sorts of fun and interesting conversations we have. I'm going to try to post this video up on there as well. And if you feel like uh, leaving a comment there, I'm more than happy to respond. So thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think of the no-brainer set. And you can also support the channel by visiting the Amazon shop down in the description below. You buy anything from that shop, it helps me out a few pennies. And believe me, I can use all the pennies I can get. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely, I am really impressed with what I'm seeing from the BBO line of chips on their website. So definitely, I would say it's worth considering shopping there. My name is John Hobby. Thank you so much for watching.